The Suzuki Hayabusa is one of the most distinctive and iconic motorcycles ever made. And when Suzuki introduced its sensational Gen 3 model, the logical step was to prove its performance at the drag strip. Suzuki reunited with Vance and Heinz, and thus was reborn Vance and Heinz Mission Suzuki. The Gen 3 Suzuki Hayabusa is the quickest, most technologically advanced, and aerodynamic Hayabusa yet. Suzuki and Vance and Heinz work together closely to design, build, and develop the new Gen 3 Pro Stock Hayabusa to push its performance even further. The bodywork for the Gen 3 Hayabusa NHRA Pro Stock machine was developed to maximize the unmatched aerodynamics of the Hayabusa street bike. By following the new Gen 3 lines to engineer the new carbon fiber drag racing bodywork, 3D scans, drawings, and aerodynamic analysis were used to produce a stunningly beautiful and race-ready aerodynamic package built to win. Suzuki has a significant drag racing legacy, and it was our vision to continue that theme with the all-new Gen 3 Hayabusa. When Terry Vance and I first started talking about possibly reuniting our companies, we both knew the arrival of the new bike represented the perfect timing. The development of the new Pro Stock platform has been incredibly rewarding, and we couldn't be prouder of the team for capturing a dominant victory in the bike's debut. We're looking forward to seeing the continued development of the Hayabusa and showcasing its extraordinary performance capabilities to fans of this legendary motorcycle. So, how'd we do? In its racetrack debut, Gage Herrera took the brand new Gen 3 Vance and Hines Mission Suzuki Hayabusa and won it all in dominating fashion with the team at the NHRA Gator Nationals in Gainesville, Florida. Oh, and he set a track record in the process. Let's look at the journey to create this all new race bike. currently racing the Gen 2 Hayabusa. We thought at that point, you know, it would be great to have a new body come out and then the Gen 3 bike gets introduced. When that opportunity presented itself, we knew it was a project we wanted to take on. Well, Suzuki markets it as the most aerodynamic motorcycle they've ever produced, right? So we had a great baseline starting point for the, the Gen 3 Hayabusa. And, you know, you, you see it's, it's started from the ground up with how the Gen 3 is produced by the factory. We got one of the stock bikes, we got to start seeing it. St you know, your, your brain starts going, you start seeing these styling cues. When the partnership evolved with Vance and Hines and Suzuki, it was just, it was almost a natural great pro progression to get to this point of having our take on a pro stock motorcycle represented by the Gen 3. I just, I love this bike. We, we have to hit a lot of criteria for NHRA to get you know, through the approval process. You know, first thing is a, is a sketch rendering to figure out what the motorcycle is going to look like. And one thing we really, really took pride in on getting the fit and finish right on this bike, you know, trying to get everything from the CAD world to patterns to molds to real world carbon fiber, everything fits tight. Cut lines are in the body work from the pattern all the way through the mold process. There's a lot of hours going into this thing. The, the first version, you know, we're making templates to make sure it's fitting dead center on the motorcycle. Everything came out to the nines. This body was not designed on the bike. It was actually designed in CAD. Yeah, so digital. it is 100% symmetrical. We actually drew one side of the motorcycle, mirror image, flip-flopped it, put it on the other side. Now you have a perfect symmetrical motorcycle. It's so neutral feeling to the point that you can actually make a small little move left or right and it wants to correct. It's not trying to yaw movements or roll movements as you say, where it's trying to go certain ways. This bike is 100% neutral. We had a great test session here at Gainesville to start off the year. Uh, couldn't have really gone any better. This motorcycle went over 200 miles an hour, 10 runs in a row off the truck. It shows the leaps and bounds we made over this off season to get this thing right. The biggest thing on styling of this thing, stretching it from stock Hayabusa that has your, your street 
Radial yeah, two, tires. 220, 230 rear tires. We got a 10 inch wide slick under the back of this thing. So we have to stretch the tail section. We have to widen it. Trying to keep those proportions right. Keep all the, the natural body lines from the stock bike into the thing. Everything just, you know, it started with a flow. You got to get everything right. And then finally, when the full concept comes to fruition in, in CAD, it just, everything hit, hit right on the mark. OE shaped tail lights, underwing. Uh, we threw a rear, rear fender on it to keep rocks from flying everywhere. But everything just, it screams OE bike. So after this test session we had in Gainesville, like I said, it's, it's one of the best test sessions we've had across our team period. We, we tested new Vance and Hines billet cases. We tested the new Gen 3 Hayabusa. So we tested our new rider, Gage Herrera. <laughs> everything went really, really well. We're really looking forward to getting back to the shop, throwing a Gen 3 body on Gage's bike, bringing that out to the Gator Nationals and kicking off this season right with uh, the best looking bikes that have ever been produced for drag racing. say how he saw something special in you when he was watching at home in the U.S. Nationals in November. He called you and asked you to join Vance and Hines. Four months later, you were holding a Wally. How surreal is this moment? I never thought this would be possible, honestly. I mean, uh, I'm, at, I'm lost for words. I mean, I got, I got to give up the whole Vance Hines mission team, uh, Suzuki team. I mean, big thanks to Andrew for seeing, you know, what he did in me and, uh, this is a special one, you know, it's a special weekend for me, and uh, I hope there's more to come, and uh, man, it's, it's unreal.